Hi everyone, me again. <laughs> um, look, just wanting to touch base quickly because things are changing very quickly. And to give you an update on, on where we're at with our gradual return to school plans. So it's day three today of our online learning for the first two weeks. And I will um, just repeat that we are confident in the online learning educational program that we have for the whole of term two. My staff are ready to go with that and they've worked extremely hard to do it. Now, um, we have been asked by our Premier Gladys Berejiklian to make sure that every child from week three has an opportunity to spend at least one day at school face to face with a teacher. So we are putting in place um, plans for that to happen. Now we have a decision, kindergarten to year six, and I think you'll be happy wherever you stand on this. I'm getting lots of different, um, different opinions on it. But basically, um, kindergarten to year six, you will have a choice. Now you currently have a choice anyway. You can send your children to school if you need them to come to school. But we've asked you if you can keep them home, to keep them home. Now from week three, if you want to send them home, send them to school, sorry, if you want to send them to school, even if you can keep them home, you are welcome to do that on the day um, that your child will be invited. And um, Mrs. Finlay and Mrs. Fay will have a timetable that will be able to go out today so that you know when that is and you can plan for week three. Now what will happen is that one teacher in each grade will be teaching online and one teacher will be teaching face to face. That means that you don't have to feel pressured to send your children and you also don't have to feel pressured to keep them at home on that day in week three. We will be delivering the same content. Obviously, um, there will be extra activities at school, more of a social um, and interactive nature, but these will not be accessible. So we want to make sure that our educational program this term is consistent and fair and equitable for all students. Assessment will be done on what we have prepared through our online educational program this term. And that is fair for everybody. Now, we will be prioritising kindergarten from week three with two days a week. Um, and they will have an option of two days if they want to take that. Um, and the kinder, again, one teacher online, one teacher teaching from home. So the only thing, the only downside with that that I can see for your children that they might not like is that it may not be their usual class teacher. But I have made a commitment to my staff that I do not want them, if at all possible, to have to do two jobs. In other words, teaching face to face and delivering online at the same time. It's just such hard work. <laughs> They're working harder to deliver online than they are face to face because this, we, we're just not used to it. So I'm trying to look after them. If I look after them, they're going to be much more efficient in the classroom. Now, we have got considerable flexibility from Nessa and I'm very, very grateful for that. That goes across the board K to six. Our assessments um, and our reporting, we can simplify those things. Now that helps everybody at the moment. We're given some, we, we still want them to be quality, but um, the reports will be simplified and um, you will be hearing more about that from the heads of school. Um, I think kindergarten to year six, you are hearing, getting lots of feedback continuously and then seven to 12, watch this space. Now, seven to 12. The logistics of the timetable are much more tricky than saying, hey, one teacher teach this and the other one teach it online. It's much more tricky than that. We are looking at ways that we can still do that as much as possible. And we do have a plan in process. Um, 
but I'm sure you can appreciate that the logistics of that when I'm trying to juggle um, classroom availability, playground duties, staff who um, are actually in a high risk category and therefore will not be able to come to school until the health advice changes. Um, it is more tricky, but I do believe that we will have a plan out to you either late today or tomorrow. So look out for that. I just wanted to communicate with you today because I know there's been a lot of anxiety about what does week three look like. You will be offered a day at school at least. Now, if you're in year 12, we are prioritising your practical classes. That's really important because many of your um, subjects do require some practical assessment and you need to practice that too, So, or, or major works. Or, so we will be prioritising practical lessons for year 12 and we will be prioritising year 12. They have to do their HSC at the end of this year as they would any other year with just a few minor tweaks and, um, and the results will be out in December. That is what we've been told. So we must prioritise them in our return to school plan. I just want to repeat that in all of this, I need to look after the teachers and make sure that they don't burn out this term. So that is a big priority. Um, everybody's working really hard to make sure that your children don't miss out on a quality education. I'm incredibly proud of them. Um, I thank you for your cooperation, for your encouragement. And I think, honestly, it has been a stressful time, but I think we've done a good job. I think as a community, students, parents, teachers, support staff, we've actually worked really well together. And just thank you for everything that you have done to work with us to make it possible for us to give your children the best education we possibly can and um, glory to God it's a world-class school all for the glory of God and it's 2020 looking very different to anything I would have expected but glory to God thank you so much